Hi, kamusta? So, welcome sa aking bagong video about structural matrix analysis. In this video, ang aking pag-uusapan ay paano natin i-implement sa Python code ang pag-a-analyze ng plane truss. Or sa nakita natin, two-dimensional truss. Ibig sabihin nun, we are just considering the X and Y axis. Okay? So, there are series of, series of steps in two-dimensional truss analysis. So, I will go through each one of them. And I'm expecting na meron na tayo kahit papaanong idea how to solve structural matrix trusses. Okay? So, and also I'm expecting na alam na rin natin yung theory of structures. So, in the first step, we assign node, member, axis, and near far direction. So, parang halimbawa, meron tayong 3-member truss. So, 3-member truss na yan, may kita nyo, 3 meters ang kanyang haba na may 4 meters ang taas na merong 1 newton directed to the right downward or 20 degrees and meron tayong constant AE. Ngayon bakit ganyan yung pinili kong value? Kasi for now ang ating uh, at uh, ang ating expect uh, ang ating uh, kailangan gawin is to code muna yung ating system. Okay? So we will analyze this truss dun sa system ng sa Python code natin. Okay? So we first assign nodes 1 2 3 as you can see. Then we assign member number as you can see then axis number then near far and near far uh, directions the next step is to construct each member's stiffness matrices so we have binag parang pinag parang pinag hiwahiwalay natin yung bawat member ng truss so we assign each each node with each node names then we assign member number then inassign din natin yung kanilang member axis then near far node so kailangan nating i-fit in lahat ng mga data na nakuha natin sa ating uh, member matrix okay na nakikita natin yan yung formula so para makuha natin siya malagay natin siya sa member matrix mapapansin natin meron tayong cosine and sine so kailangan natin malaman yun sa pamamagitan ng direction which is, kailangan natin ng cosine and sine, kaya kailangan natin ng rise and run. So, kapag sinold natin yon makukuha natin na yung cosine theta is the x component over the hypotenuse and the sine theta is the y component over the hypotenuse. And especially, nakita nyo sa kanang bahagi, yung length ng member 3 is horizontally to the right, so cosine theta is positive 1. Step number 3 is to create a general global matrix, unreduced. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung bawat tatlong member natin is yung natatlong member matrix na nagawa natin is pagsasamasamahin natin sa isang global matrix. So, kung hindi natin pa naintindihan kung paano uh, magagawa yun, so meron akong video na uh, nakalink sa description below. So, sa step number 4, reduce the global matrix. So, yung global matrix na nakikita natin is i -re reduce natin siya. Okay? So, nakikita natin na ang, uh, ang degrees of freedom or yung mga delta na may value is delta 3, delta 4, and delta 5. Alright? So, yung mga delta 1, delta 2, delta 6 ay located sa mga support na nakikita, na nakikita nyo sa bandang baba. So, yung mga support na yan, so syempre, they are considered restrained sa mga direction na nakikita natin. So, ibig sabihin nun, they are considered zero. So, kung considered zero siya at imumultiply natin siya sa global matrix, definitely, yung mga column corresponding sa kanilang axis ay di na natin kailangan. Kaya, magkakaroon tayo ng reduced global matrix. Then, the next step is separate a reduced global matrix into two matrix. So, halimbawa, meron tayong yung mga rows with respect dun sa degrees of freedom, kaya magkakaroon tayo ng unang augmented matrix. At yung pangalawang row ay magagawa natin para sa the ikalawang augmented matrix. So, meron na tayong dalawang augmented matrix na kung saan yung unang augmented matrix natin ay uh, may reactions. Ay yung una ay yung uh, para sa mga degrees of freedom at yung pangalawa para sa mga reaction. Then, the last step is solve the deformation and the reaction matrices. Na kung saan, may kita natin sa first uh, augmented matrix natin na yung kaliwang bahagi o yung mag-Q ay yun yung mga applied force. Tapos yung stiffness matrix multiplied dun sa degrees of freedom. 
So yung mga applied forces ay given na kung saan yung Q3, yung horizontal component ng 1 newton is uh, 1 cosine 20 theta, 20 degrees. Then yung Q4 is 1 times sine 20 degrees, negative. Okay? Negative pa baba. Then since none was applied on that axis sa Q5, so zero siya. Okay? So mangyayari kapag isinubstitute natin siya, so, masasolve na natin yung mga delta 3, delta 4, and delta 5 sa so, pamamagitan ng inverse matrix ng stiffness matrix multiplied by the reactions. Then, tsaka natin mailalagay sa augmented 2, imumultiply, then masasolve natin yung reactions. Okay? So, let's start coding. Now that we are coding, so, first and foremost, sa pagkocode natin sa Python, we must first meron tayong editor or meron tayong uh, itong IDE. Ang ginagamit ko ngayon is PyCharm And yun lang Then pangalawa, kailangan natin yung module na ginawa ko I, I, I prepared a uh, library para sa uh, problem na ito Which I can share na ma-download natin sa description below okay? So first, we must uh, from uh, structural matrix Import everything Then import, I think kailangan natin ng import numpy Okay Import NumPy Then Import NumPy as NP Then tsaka natin Isiset yung mga print options So kailangan natin yan mamaya Para hindi masyadong maraming exponential form Pero pwede rin hindi Optional, is na, optional naman yan So we must first declare Trust Tawagin natin siyang trust Equals to Trust Okay So we declare the area As, as 1 And E is equals to 1 so, we create an object which is pinangalan na nating truss. Okay, so first, we must declare yung mga members. So, yun yung, yun yung unang na step. So, member 1, which is merong truss.member. Okay. So, una, uh, access list. Ano yung mga access ng uh, ating first member? So, yung first member natin ay may access na 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Then, yung sumunod nating uh, kailangan ay yung length list. Okay? So, parameter length list. So, yung length list ng member 1 ay kakanan siya ng 1,500 positive at aakit siya ng 4,000 positive. Then, okay na yan. Then, next, de declare natin yung member 2 which is trust.member Okay? Access underscore list. So, yung axis naman ng member 2 ay 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. Then, length is equals to, uh, siya ay kumanan ulit ng 1,500. Then, bumaba ng negative 4,000. Okay. So, ganyan. Next, last member will be member 3, which is equals to trust that member. So, access. So, ang kanya ay 1, 2, 5, and 6. Okay. Length, underscore list. Since perfectly kakana siya horizontally, so, siya ay positive 3,000 at hindi siya angat kaya 0. Okay. So, let's create a list of members. Okay. So, members equals to, lalagay natin member 1. Member 1. member 2 member 3 so nakagawa tayo ng list now the next steps the next step will be uh, to create a global matrix so let's create global gagawa ko ng variable na global matrix which is equals to trust.create global okay so mga kailangan natin dyan is yung yung mga uh, list ng members. So, members. Okay? So, uh, create global matrix. Okay, after nyan, next step natin is to create the reduced matrix. Alright? So, reduce global is equals to Trust that create 
reduced global. So, we must first declare yung list ng mga free axis. So, yung mga free axis natin is 3, 4, 4, 5. Okay? 3, 4, and 5. Then, now, let's uh, lagay natin yung parameter for global matrix. So, kailangan yan. Then, meron, meron ka ng reduced global. Next, dapat natin gawin is to create augmented matrix. Okay? Augmented matrix. So, para magawa natin yung trust that create augmented. Okay? So, create augmented. So, reduce global. So, ganyan siya. Then, kailangan natin gawin yun para uh, compute for the displacements. Okay? Which is displacements will be equal sa trust. Okay? Pero bago pala yun, kailangan natin kumpitin yung mga applied force. Applied forces, applied forces variable, applied, which is equal sa numpy dot cosine. Okay, so 20 degrees, convert natin sa numpy dot pi. Okay, then numpy dot pi over 180. So radians na siya. Then negative numpy dot sine uh, 20. Numpy dot pi over 180 para maging radians then 0 okay so I think okay na siya so ganyan siya yung applied force then displacements okay equals to trust def values ng applied force def values okay so deformation values print print uh, displacements kailangan natin applied forces pala so applied forces applied okay so yun yung mga displacements so makikita nyo malaki siya kasi yung, a a a a a yung cross sectional area at saka yung modulus of elasticity ay uh, equals to 1 kaya ganyan sila kalaki pero kapag inayos natin yan so mababago yan ngayon sa reactions Reactions will be equals to trust that react values, then print reactions. Okay, so lagi natin ng uh, natin ng reactions. and then slash n so the reactions is may kita natin sa baba uh, kapag kinumpit natin yan to the right so that will be equals to uh, yung values natin so lahat yan mag equilibrium so ganyan yung magiging reactions natin okay so all in all ganyan lang kabilis mag analyze ng code sa so, ganyan kay click gamit yung ginawa kong library